to say that I was marinating in this book for the five years I've been living in Park Slope, Brooklyn. Um, I have a daughter who's four years old, and we moved to the neighborhood about a year before she was born. And I started watching the mothers in my neighborhood and thinking to myself, am I going to be like that? Am I going to look unhappy? Am I going to be pushing a double stroller side by side through narrow doorways? I started thinking about what goes on inside the minds of mothers. And I started imagining the inner lives of these people with whom I was coming into contact every day um, after I had my daughter. So I started thinking about bringing some of these characters to life and creating a novel out of four very different types of mothers and really imagining my neighborhood or reimagining my neighborhood the way it would be if it were interesting. One of the reasons I love living in Brooklyn is that even in a neighborhood as gentrified as mine, you still get a little more sense of diversity, different types of people coming into contact with each other in Brooklyn than you ever see in Manhattan. And a great example of that is Prospect Park, where you just have people from every race, ethnicity, and nationality all coming together to fly kites or play soccer or push their children on swings. And um, it's why I live in Brooklyn and it's why I love living in Brooklyn. I feel like women when they read my novel might wonder, did Amy base these things on real events? And it's good for them to wonder. I, I want them to imagine that you can swing with other parents by going on a local parenting message boards. I want them to imagine that an, an ordinary Park Slope mother could have an affair with a hot Australian celebrity. Um, I also want my book to really make people think a little bit about the darker side of motherhood. Motherhood is a great joy, but it can also be a very difficult and confusing phase of life. And I think that the more women start talking honestly about the reality of motherhood, the more potential there is for them to make real, long-lasting, lifelong connections with other women and um, get the support that they need in raising children, which anyone will tell you is not an easy thing to do.